Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So you all must have heard people who have qualified CSR net exam toppers or those who have qualified and given interviews at different places. Even on this channel, uh, they they uh, you must have heard them saying ki I have read this particular book for this particular topic or I have read that book for this particular topic. Now you must be wondering that how a particular person is going to read book for all the topics. There are so many topics, there are so many books and if you ask somebody, if you have seen any video like I have also made videos earlier where I have recommended books and there are so many books which people recommend. For every topic there is a specific book. So how a particular person is going to read all the books, right? And is it important to read the books because now with the time with especially uh, for the CSI net I would say that in the last one or two years. On YouTube, we have a lot of uh, content, okay. There are so many people who are teaching, so many coaching institutes who have uh, shifted to online teaching on YouTube especially. Uh, so many platforms like Unacademy, they are also uh, teaching on, an, uh, on the YouTube channel. And also there are so many individual people who are actually teaching very nicely on the YouTube channel, right, or on the YouTube platform. So there are so many content on the YouTube. Then why is it important to read books or is book reading so important or should you even think of reading books? So the answer is yes because I will tell you all the things in this video okay I will tell you that why exactly book reading is so important and I will also tell you at least some of the topic which you should actually read books so there are some topics which actually read uh, which actually require reading books uh, you cannot do them by watching videos or by notes or anywhere because book reading and especially standard book if you are reading a standard book of those topic then you will get in-depth knowledge of that and with time you can see in the CSI net exam uh, questions are asked not that directly they are asked from in-depth of that particular topic so in that way only you will be able to answer questions in the exam and that's how you will be able to score good marks in exam right so here's the video in which I'm going to talk about that what are the topics which require book reading and I'll also talk about that why exactly book reading is so important. So now without wasting any time, let's continue with our video. Alright, so first of all, let me tell you that why book reading is so important. See, when somebody teaches you, when somebody teaches you at any platform, be it YouTube, be it offline coaching, be it online coaching, anywhere, when a particular person is teaching, the knowledge, whatever he is giving to you, is coming through a filter. Filter is that person itself. Let's say if I am teaching you a particular topic, I have first of all read it from some source, be it some book, I have read it from book and then I have explained you in that particular video or, a, or I have explained you in an academy class or wherever I am teaching you, right? So while understanding the concept and while explaining you in between there are few things which the person skips uh, based upon his or her personal experiences that he thinks that okay fine this particular thing is not that important so let's skip that but when you are going to read the book you are reading it without any filter okay you are not uh, you the filters are less over there and and this becomes even worse when a particular person is teaching you from watching a video because then the field number of filters are increasing so it's like somebody has read book made a video and then the other person has watched that video and again explained you so things or the knowledge will come from more number of filters and in that way the content is going to become filtered out and the number of things which the person which which is going to come to you is going to be less and you are reading the book you are actually ga gaining the raw knowledge whatever was there in the book you are getting it to yourself and sometimes it happens that everything in the book you are not able to understand. Then for that topic, uh, like for that specific topic, you can watch video or you can attend any class for that. Okay, so that is one thing. But I know there are so many topics, there are so many things on the uh, syllabus. So uh, everything you cannot read from the book, right? Because if I start telling you the name of the books for each topic, I can tell you a book, right? And that will make the number of books so much that there will be a big pile of book at the end. Uh, in your room and you will not get sufficient amount of time to prepare from all of the books right so that's why what happens that you don't have to study all the topics from the book what you have to do is you have to study some specific topics now those specific topics why i'm telling you over here because in the recent exams if you see in the previous few years of csi net exam you will find out that some questions some topics especially uh, are getting saturated means the questions which are being asked from those topics 
are getting saturated and they like the examiner is not asking in that straightforward way they are not digging up things a little bit earlier they used to ask things very uh, you know straightforward way but now because the competition is high everyone has a similar kind of uh, you know exposure to the knowledge everybody is watching from youtube everybody is getting or everybody knows how to approach the exam right so because of that particular cutthroat competition now it becomes important from the examiner point of view also to make the question in such a way that it the level of the question should be a little bit higher on the higher side right if everybody is going to score 180 out of 100 uh, out of 200 then how the cutoff is going to decide right so that's why the questions are being put up from the books directly and you must have read or you must have heard after the exam like so many people tell you that this question was directly from that book this question was directly from that from that book so that is because the people are able to tell you because they have read books and secondly that time you realize that i should have read book right so why i told you all these things till now just to make you realize that book reading is important and this is true that everything you cannot read from the books but some topics you have to read from the books uh, what are those topics first topic which i believe it should be read from the book is coordination chemistry because coordination chemistry is not that difficult topic if you have read it in a overview manner or if you have watched any general video on youtube you might have found that the topic is not that difficult it's very easy topic like things are very straightforward in it so when you see the question in the question paper they are not asked in that straightforward way they are asked from those places where exceptions are there or those places where the concept is being little bit twisted right so in that way book reading becomes very important for coordination chemistry now for coordination chemistry you can follow uh, james c hui that is the best book for coordination chemistry that's what i believe and i have also read from the same book so i think that still james c hui has a lot of potential in it it's a very good book for coordination chemistry if you are someone who is not able to understand the language of hui in that case, Ajay Kumar is a good book. Okay, so you can follow coordination chemistry by Ajay Kumar. The second topic which you should go by book is organometallic chemistry. Now, organometallic chemistry is again uh, same thing goes over there as well. Uh, the topic is very vast and it, questions can be put up from anywhere. Okay, we all know about the weights rule. We all know about the basic of uh, you know 18 electron rule and all. But when the questions are asked, they are asked from the exceptional cases. If you remember uh, last to last year in 2020, the question was asked uh, based upon metallocene and there what they have done is instead of giving a normal cyclopentadienyl ring, they have uh, given it as the substitution. Okay, And in that case, uh, the, the d orbital splitting was changing and that was given in the books. People were going through the normal, uh, you know, normal uh, way and they were just whatever they have studied for normal cyclopentadienyl ligand or normal metallocene they were just uh, writing the answer based upon that but it was changed it was an exceptional case there what i wanted to say is at least coordination and organometallic are two topics from inorganic chemistry for which you should read books for organometallic chemistry you can either follow uh, bd gupta and ilyas or you can follow a book by ajay kumar okay so you can follow any of these books apart from them you can also follow misler and tar that is also a good book all right now let's come to physical chemistry for physical chemistry if you are interested in quantum chemistry if you understand the basics of quantum chemistry if you know or if you if you are able to you know solve questions based upon quantum chemistry if you like quantum chemistry then you should read books if you are not someone who likes who is a fan of quantum chemistry or who don't like much quantum chemistry in that case you should stay away from the book you should at least watch some videos so that you can do some questions in exam okay but if you know the basics if you understand quantum chemistry a little bit then in that case you should re read book so you can follow book like uh, either macquery or era and levine for quantum chemistry okay another topic from uh, physical chemistry which requires book reading actually not book reading but solving no more number of question is thermodynamics thermodynamics is something which always you know in gate also and in csi net also people just get uh, stuck in solving the question especially the numerical so it is very important to practice more and more number of numericals from uh, this uh, thermodynamics and uh, for that kl kapoor is one of the best book for that and apart from these all these things there is one more topic which is a molecular spectroscopy so molecular spectroscopy also try to practice more questions from molecular spectroscopy 
right so these are one or two topics from where like which you should read from book or you should practice from books apart from them other topics for other topics you can go for youtube videos or any notes whatever you have you can follow them and you can go the way they are okay for organic chemistry you all must be aware about the name of the book it's Clayden. you can either follow Clayden or once if you have done Clayden, then you can go for zeffel and nands you can go for any book uh, among these there are there are more other books also from organic chemistry actually organic is very vast compared to inorganic and physical if i say so it's a very vast topic but still uh, these are some of the books which you can follow and uh, if you are not a fan of organic chemistry but one topic which I always emphasize to everyone to do for organic chemistry that is organic spectroscopy. For organic spectroscopy, you should practice questions from Pavia. So, I have just given some topics, just few topics for which you should follow books, especially for inorganic chemistry. It's a request from my side if you are preparing for exam. Please do read books apart from doing all the classes, apart from making all your notes. Please do read books. So that it will help you in the exam okay if the question is asked out of the uh, box if the question is asked from somewhere which is exception or something if you have read book you will be able to apply the concept or if you have read book you will be it will be there in your mind and you will be able to answer over there right so because exam dates are not yet announced there is a ample amount of time for you to so that you can go through some of the books and you can prepare some of these topics from the book that's why I made this video. I hope you guys liked it. If there, if there are some other topic which you think they require book reading, then do let me know in the comment section below. If you have any other query regarding it, you can ask in the comment section below. That's all from my side for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care. Hey guys. So, I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.